Rebecca, and I'm here today to talk to you about the forces of flight, which are gravity, thrust, lift, and drag. And all of those are necessary in balance for a frisbee, an airplane, or even a bird to fly. Let's go learn about it. Gravity. What do you think will happen when I throw this ball into the air? Do you think it will stay in the air or it'll come back down? Let's check it out. Came back down because of gravity. Gravity is a force that's all around us and it's working on things like elephants to baseballs, the things you can't see in the air like air particles and bacteria. Gravity is necessary for flight because it keeps us grounded. Thrust. Thrust is the get up and go of any object, whether it's your car, you taking off in a sprint, or an airplane. It's the gas pedal. It gets you moving in the first place. Thrust can be generated by either an engine, a propeller, or a rocket. Drag. Let's talk about air. Air is made up of things that you cannot see, which are called air particles. Have you ever stuck your hand outside of the window when the car is moving? Is it really easy to keep your hand there for a long time the faster you go? No, that is because of drag. Drag is necessary in flight because it would be really hard to stop your plane if there wasn't any drag. Lift, let's talk about air particles. They can move fast or they can move slow. These fast or slow moving air particles cause pressure because they're bouncing off of each other. When the air is moving slow, it can exert more pressure on the other air particles than those that are moving fast. Wings help airplanes lift off the ground. The wing's curved surface helps to create slow moving air over the curved surface, which is called high air pressure. The air below the wing is moving really, really fast, and that's called low air pressure. This is lift.